georeferencing and Revit import. We'd like to set up our georeferencing and test it out as early as possible to avoid any issues further down the line. Our project land surveyor has given us the following information for our geolocation. In Blender BIM, we'll pick up where we left off earlier, we'll click on load project, locate your project and hit on load project. We've done this so many times now. Okay, so our project will be simulated in Morocco and our project land surveyor has given us the following information for our geolocation. To set it up, we'll go to the IFC Geometry panel in the Scene Properties and we'll find here IFC Georeferencing. There is no georeferencing data yet, so we'll click on Add Georeferencing. We can now see a pencil, we'll press on the pencil and start filling out the data as specified by the surveyor. The geodatic datum is Mercius, Sud Maroc. The map unit, the east things will be the north things will be minus three hundred and twenty one dot seven six three six, and the elevation, which is the orthogonal height, will be of three thousand and five hundred. Well, it's in meters, 3.5. We have the x-axis abscissa of 0 0.6. And the ordinate is the following. I won't go into too much details about your referencing. If you don't know how to get these numbers, then you probably don't know what you're doing. So it's best if you just ask your surveyor to get this data. Let's press on Edit Georeferencing. You can notice that it has a derived angle of 53 degrees and this is from the abscissa and the ordinate. Once this is done, you can then save this as a new project in a location of your choosing. And this time I named this Blender BIM Referenced Model. I'll hit on Export IFC. Now, if you have Revit, you can then go to Revit and import that. So I'll, I'll just test it out to show you how it works. Okay, so we have a fresh Revit session. Here we'll go to the site and then manage cord coordinates, specify coordinates at point, and we'll click on the project base point reference. Yes. Here we're in uh, millimeters, so we'll write this in millimeters, 229.3. Oops, no, so that's the east things. And the north things will be 321.763.6. And the elevation, 3500 mil. And the angle is 53 Project North. We'll keep it as east minus 53 and then we'll hit OK. All right, if everything went well, then this little survey point is now up here and it seems to be rotated. It's a good sign. Now let's go to insert link IFC. Locate your file and hit open. Amazing, we have our Blender BIM model loaded here, but it has a rotation. Let's click on our IFC link, click right, and then reposition to project base point. Reset orientation, and ta-da! You can now send models from Blender BIM or Revit, and when you export something from Revit, let's say we have a wall, we can then export this to IFC. We'll choose Design Transfer View, Modify Setup. Click on this Design Transfer View one and then here change it to 
project base point EPSG code two six one nine two. And yeah, we're in the south of Morocco. We'll hit OK. Export as Revit walls. Export. Then we'll open a Blender session. Click on Load Project. Locate the file that you exported from Revit and then hit load project and if everything went fine which it does not seem to have oh that's where my wall is is it there's a problem with the export so we'll hit export again file export IFC, modify setup. We need to ensure it's project base point. We'll re click again. Somehow it refreshes something. OK, export. Now let's try again. load project and we'll click load project and this time it did it correctly we'll save this as a blender file save as we'll call it um, revit link and save now we'll resurrect our grids I don't know why I closed my file, um, but here it is. I'll open it up again, load project, and I have my initial grids. Now I can go to IFC project setup under the IFC link sub panel, click on link IFC. Once you've located the file that we just saved as a Blender file, we'll click on link IFC. And there we go. We have the walls that we exported from Revit.